Welcome, Libras. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the Empress. I'm so happy to have you guys here with me today. Um, today, we're going to jump into December 2019. December, y'all. December. <laughs> this year has flown by. We're getting ready to jump into a brand new, fresh year. Super thrilled. There's going to be so much more different content coming to this channel. So stay tuned. Make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for your notifications. If this message seems to resonate with you, great. Make sure you leave the like button. Hit the like button. Comment. Share with your family and friends. If it doesn't resonate, this could be um, someone's energy around you or... This could be, you know, vice versa, their energy and, you know, you guys' energy can be colliding with each other, vice versa type energy, vice versa or meshing together. Um, so let's see, let's jump into it. This is going to be for December 2019 for my Libras. First card is Firm Foundation. All right, so you guys could be waiting um, waiting to find something stable. You want possibly you want some type of commitment or you're waiting for some type of um, waiting for some type of commitment, waiting for some type of stability about a home because this is home life and stability as well. Um, this could be school related, work related, home life, marriage. When we have the lover's card here at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so maybe there's a decision that you need to make. And then we have crown chakra. Okay, so crown chakra is saying basically your thoughts. You know. So maybe you know that you need to make a decision possibly between two people. We have the Ace of Swords, which is triumphant success. Okay, so that is being the challenge. Um, maybe you're trying to communicate, communicate something to your family. Someone could be moving out. Okay, maybe you're trying to communicate with someone or wanting them to move on or you're trying to move out of a home something to that nature we have throat chakra so it's definitely lots of communication lots of communication here why is this happening what's crown in this situation someone could be communicating that they're moving out or they're moving on or they're leaving or you guys are moving out of a home We got hope, which is the star card. So a lot of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius. Once again, this lover's card and the crown chakra is right back here again at the bottom of the day. Okay. So maybe you're hoping that someone uh, leaves or moves on from a marriage or a home. What, what is the future energy? Emotional loss. Someone is regretting making some type of commitment or someone could be... I'm just trying to figure this energy out here. Most definitely going to have to put some clarifiers. There we go again, Six of Swords. Okay, so... Why is Six of Swords here? Ten of Wands, yeah, dropping something and leaving something behind, most definitely. A home life situation, a family, or something into that nature. I'm getting, like, dropping everything and, and leaving. Wow, 
Why is triumphant success here? Which is also known as the Ace of Swords, which is for communication and the truth being revealed. Someone speaking their truth. The moon card. Okay, so someone has been keeping a secret or keeping something hidden, but the truth is going to be revealed or the truth is coming out. Okay, someone could be the most definitely married. Um, we got the devil card and the ten of cups and the hierophant. Um, some of you guys could be done with the Capricorn. The hierophant and the ten of cups. Someone here is already in a commitment or married why is the same scenario coming out for a lot of people the truth is coming out okay and i feel like you're telling someone to leave or get out it's what i'm just picking up like get the hell out energy why is the moon card here King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Nine of Pentacles. I'm getting single man, male or female, but I got the King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Nine of Pentacles. It's very much single. Something needs to be resolved here. Someone needs to resolve. Got some issues that they need to resolve, most definitely. Why well, is moving on here? So maybe you found out that someone is living with someone or already in something. Six of Swords. Why is moving on here? And you're ready to drop this situation. Why is moving on here? Seven of Cups. Okay. So... You could have other options. You could have many other different things or things that you could be doing. But I feel like you're um, making a decision here. You feel like you need to make a decision. Maybe some of you guys are thinking about moving. I'm picking that up as well, too. Maybe... You are thinking about moving to another city, another state. You're waiting to make your, you, you feel like you're looking at your options and like weighing things out. Okay. Let's see what throat chakra is here. Right, you're saying that you're going to take a risk, take this leap of faith, okay? And I see an invitation, someone inviting you, or you inviting someone, asking them, do they want to come along? Okay, why is the fool here? The star card, okay? Aquarius is energy. But you have hope. You you feel like if you take this leap of faith, um, it's going to get you where you need to be. All right. You're hoping that you could do it and, and be successful in it. Right, well, let's see why hope is here because you got the star card twice here as well. Seven of Wands. Like, I'm hoping that I'll be straight. I hope I'll be safe. Okay. Why is the seven of wands here? I'm getting like some of you guys are thinking about relocating. The empress is the mother card. So a lot of you guys could be, you know, feeling like you hope um, your mom is, your mom understands or your baby mom or it's a female energy. Okay. Why is the empress here? Emotional loss for future energy.
But it's like going ahead, your intuition is telling you like that you may regret it. So it's like, yeah, you feel like you're going to be worried. Um, <laughs> you're stuck in your head. I think a lot of you guys are thinking of this. Like, you could be thinking about moving, just dropping everything and leaving. Um, and moving to another city, another state. But you're trying to wait to make you being patient and trying to wait before you make that decision. I feel like you are, you know, been saying it. You've been saying it like, yeah, you know, I'm going to take this leap of faith. I'm going to take this risk. I hope it, I hope it's, you know, I, I'm wishing for the best. But then it's like, you know, I hope, I, you know, I hope I can. I hope everything will be all right. But your intuition may be telling you that you might regret it. And it's something that's that's on your mind that's worrying you. Why is the nine of swords here? Yeah, you're worried about whether if everything is going to be okay, if there's going to be balance, if there's going to be order. Like, um... Right. You you just having fears, anxiety about, you know, I feel like I might regret it. I feel like you want to take a leap of faith. You want to take some type of risk. Some of you guys are wanting to move. Once some of you guys are wanting to move out of town, out of state, are wanting to move to a different location, you possibly have been contemplating on it, thinking about it, looking at your different options. But, you know, you're, you know, you're kind of being patient. You're not trying to move too fast. But... You know, you're. This is something that I feel like you've even spoken out your mouth and said that you want to do a risk that you want to take. But I feel like you're kind of holding back because you feel like your intuition is telling you that you may regret it. Okay, you may feel like things won't have order or balance if you were to leave the equation. Okay, so that's what I'm picking up for Libras. Okay, so let's grab. Let's do the Love Oracle cards and see what we get there. I feel like some of you guys are having trust issues with someone that you are romantically involved with. We have trust and deception here at the bottom of the deck. Maybe um, we have flirt. Okay, so maybe someone doesn't trust somebody because they flirt possibly with, you know, flirting around. Okay, so let's see. This could be vice versa. This could be you or your partner. We got passion, let go of control issues, and worth the wait. So I see lots of intimacy here. But someone possibly has control issues, okay? All right, so... Spirit is saying to let the situation unfold naturally. Don't try to control it. Um, and let divine timing work in your love life. Okay, so why is passion here for Libras? I'm getting don't rush. Why is passion here? Got the sun card, Leo's energy. But this is definitely be me romantically satisfied, happy. Okay, so having fun, okay, with the one that you love. Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn's energy. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Leo or Capricorn. But it's possible I'm getting like it's been a long time. For some of you guys that you have been romantically involved with someone. Why is Knight of Pentacles here? Knight of Pentacles is slow-paced energy. Um, yeah, Seven of Wands. <laughs> okay. You stuck in your head, okay, about this. So for some of you guys, it's been a while since you've, you know, had romantic moments. 
Let's see, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Woo. All right, so with the judgment card, someone here possibly wants a second chance, but somebody is kind of like being very controlling about it or trying to force trying to force i'm getting forced in and like i'm getting like forced energy even here with this seven of wands okay it's kind of like forced energy um someone's forcing something that's why spirit is saying that don't try to control the situation let the situation unfold naturally i feel like someone wants a second chance why is the judgment card here Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, this energy, Lover's card here, most definitely Gemini's energy, but I'm getting like, this is very, um, this is very um, young, childlike energy, this is very immature, kind of like energy, like, you know, rushing in or rushing out, someone, I'm definitely getting like, someone could be possibly really get really irrational, Okay, I'm getting like someone here is controlling and things can possibly get out of hand um, is what I'm picking up here. Why is Knight of Swords here? Yeah, someone gets irrational when they don't get what they want is what I'm getting. This could be your energy or theirs, but somebody just gets out of control when they don't have when they don't get their way. Is what I'm picking up on here. Coming off very controlling, childlike, immature. Why is worth the wait here? Why is worth waiting for here? Eight of Swords, okay, so someone's feeling trapped. I feel like there is some type of ending. Oh, definitely a closure, okay? Someone is prepared to close a chapter and let go, get rid of this, end it, done. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Okay, Three of Cups. Someone might possibly like be afraid to socialize with other people. Um, kind of like a, I'm getting like feeling left out in the cold, having negative thoughts. Um, why is the Three of Cups here? Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm definitely picking up on negative thoughts. Okay, someone here is having negative thoughts or looking at a situation negatively. And, um, why is the Queen of Cups here? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm getting like working on something from the past, working out something from the past. But someone is like afraid to socialize with people. Um, it's because they're looking at things in a negative way, in a negative light is what I'm picking up on. But I'm definitely picking up on like someone here most definitely has like, I mean like temper tantrums when they don't get their way. Um, I'm picking up on that as well. Yeah, like, they don't get their way. They storm out. Um, they have to calm down. I'm picking up on that as well. Ooh. Yeah, I'm, I'm picking up like somebody gets agitated or upset quickly. Like, out of the blue, quickly. Because they're controlling. Controlling. 
and somebody has issues with trust okay someone doesn't trust someone here most definitely somebody feels like someone is a liar they're flirty Somebody most definitely does trust. Why is deception here? Yep, somebody is a player. Got King of Wands. Okay. Leo Sagittarius Aries, but they're just flighty. Okay. Scorpio's energy. Why is trust here? Tower, Scorpio's energy again. Two juggling, two people here. <clears throat> trust is broken, most definitely. Somebody does not trust somebody, most definitely here. Trust is broken. Strength card. Picking up on Leo's energy. Because got Queen of Wands here and Knight of Cups. Mm-hmm. Why is flirt here? Lovers. Huh. Gemini's energy. With that nine of wands, somebody is most definitely... Feeling like they got to watch. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Hmm. Interesting, Libras. Y'all let me know what's going on down in the comment section below. This was a very interesting read wasn't very much expected but i read whatever i see so if this message seemed to resonate leave a thumbs up don't forget to comment share and click the bell to subscribe all right until next time my loves ciao for now